Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Animate CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to extend the timeline, how to make the playhead scrubbable. So you can click on this playhead and move it, and uh, how to insert a keyframe. And this is all to create basically an extended timeline. Now if you're new to Animate or you're coming here from, let's say, you're, you're an Adobe Premiere Pro or an After Effects user, the first thing you often want to do is you click on here and you want to scrub this through and go through the frames or through the seconds and you cannot do that and it's quite frustrating. So let me show you how to do that first off. The first thing you want to do is you want to click on your timeline. If you do not see what I see here and you see a different looking, um, different looking timeline or a different set of panels, all you need to do is go up to the top here, go to workspaces, click on that and then go to essentials and then left click on essentials and you'll see what I see. If you still don't, you want to left click on this refresh and it will reset it to the generic default um, essentials. Okay, good. Enough of that. Now, you want to go back down to the timeline. I'm going to just increase the size of the timeline a little bit. And what you want to do is you want to grab this little slider here at the bottom. Now, for this example, I want this animation, let's say, to be 10 seconds long. 10 seconds is 300 frames in my situation. So I have left click on the timeline here and I have added in a keyframe. I know that is quite small, um, but hey, sorry guys. Uh, there you go, so I've done that. Now, I want to go up here and it says insert keyframe. I'm going to left click on that and that is going to insert the keyframe. Now, when I add, when I go to this little playhead thing, you'll see here that I can scrub and I can go all the way from the front to back. Very frustrating if you're new to this because it's not quite intuitive, at least I didn't find it, but that's how it works. And if you're wondering how I knew 300 frames was the 10 seconds long, simple. It's, three, it's 30 frames per second in this document and 30 times 10 is 300, so that's how I knew it. So that's it guys, that's how you add a keyframe, that's how you extend your timeline, you make it scrubbable. Ton more stuff coming up guys, thanks for watching the tutorial, be back soon.